this video, we will focus on the design of the mentoring plan and apprenticeship plan. And we'll find out how to meet the requirements of the training agreement with the apprentice and supervisor, including the evaluation plan. Why it's important to design and coordinate the mentoring and apprenticeship plan? It makes sure that the company, the apprentice and schools have understood the objectives of the apprenticeship rightly. Therefore, it's important to design and coordinate the mentoring and apprenticeship plan together with the apprentice. It helps companies to understand and to get better overview about background and knowledge about the apprentice. To find before the apprenticeship out the expectations of both parties. To fit the individual apprenticeship plan to the apprentice. To find the best tasks and workload for them. In conclusion, to be sure that the mentor and apprentice are using the same map for traveling during the apprenticeship. The first step for designing a perfect mentoring and apprenticeship plan is meeting with the mentor. Before that meeting, it's important that the apprentice already has knowledge about different departments and their tasks in the company. It helps to find possibilities where we can develop the weakness of the apprentice to strengths. For example, when one weakness of the apprentice is presentations, then the apprentice could work together with sales engineers. When we prepare our mentoring plan and apprenticeship plan, then we will see that both documents are similar. Main differences are the mentoring plan is looking the apprenticeship from the side of the company and it's planned always one step ahead to be sure that we fulfill the expectations of all parties. In the mentoring plan, we clearly write down the learning outcomes in connection with different tasks. For example, how we will develop teamwork capabilities. And in the mentoring plan, we are planning and monitoring the development process. For example, we want that our apprentice will do next month a presentation for a client. What means we have to prepare the apprentice for that step by step. Introducing the project, explaining how to make good presentations, how to answer questions. The apprenticeship plan is for the apprentice, where they can see planned work tasks, can evaluate the personal development and bring, for example, out weaknesses and strengths. Discussing this information with his mentor, they can make changes or add something into the apprenticeship program. For example, when the apprentice has problems in making presentations in English, then the mentor can offer to have meetings in English. On this picture, we see a simplified process diagram. How to design a mentoring and apprenticeship plan? Firstly, we must find out how much knowledge the apprentice already has to perform different work tasks, like knowledge about special software, planning projects, etc. It's important to find out the expectations of the apprentice and use that for planning the apprenticeship. And it's very important to explain the expectation of the company to the apprentice too. Expectations can be personal and academical, according to the training agreement. Next step will be write down together with the apprentice a work plan on a daily basis, with rules for different work procedures, deadline for tasks, meetings, communication rules with the mentor. For example, can the apprentice every time come to the mentor and ask or not? Agree with the apprentice, the evaluation plan, how often you will speak with him or her about his personal development or problems. The apprenticeship should make sure that the apprentice is growing with every day. It means the complexity level of different work tasks 
should increase step by step. How the mentor will do that must be included in the mentoring plan. For example, the mentor is doing some work together with the apprentice and next time the apprentice will do that alone. Or the mentor already can see apprentice needs some training, for example, working with Excel. Then the mentor will arrange a special training for the apprentice. It is important to see the mentoring plan and the apprenticeship plan as a dynamic document, what you will update always when needed. Because with every day you get better knowledge about your apprentice and you see where some help is needed or you get trust that the apprentice can already handle some kind of works alone. When you are changing something in your mentoring plan or apprenticeship plan, then discuss that with your apprentice and explain why you are doing that. Enjoy your work with your apprentice.